welcome back everybody to Improv Bible Study here with Junk Shop Library. Hope you've been enjoying our little adventure together so far. Uh, each time you do, make sure you click that thumbs up button so that I know. We launch today into the 27th chapter of the book of Genesis. Let's see how we do. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son, and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here I am. And he said, Behold now, I am old, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat, that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched, and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread, which she had prepared, unto the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father, and said, My father? And he said, Here am I. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit, and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto his, uh, Isaac his father, and he felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore God gave thee of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had made savory meat, and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless thee. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn, Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison, and brought it me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest, and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety, and hath taken away thy blessing. 
And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand, and then I will slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise, flee thou to Laban my brother in Haran and tarry with him a few days, until thy brother's fury turn away. Until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? And that's Genesis chapter 27. Blessing stealing. Oh, poor old Isaac. He's getting old in his old age, advanced in years, and gets a hankering for his older son Esau's specialty dish, the, the savory venison. And he says, go out, hunt down some deer, and make me that, that special venison dish that you make that I like so much. And I will give you a blessing. And Esau says, okay, and off he goes. And Rebekah takes the younger son aside and says, Your father's about to bless your big brother, but he's got to pay for the blessing with venison savory stew. Go get me some goat, and I'll tart it up to taste like your brother's famous venison and savory meat. And you can sneak in. You know your old dad, he don't see too well anymore. So you can sneak in and, and give him the soup and, and get the blessing that was intended for your older brother. And Jacob says, I, um, uh, I, I don't, um, it's not, it's not going to work. I, I can't pass as big, honking, red, hairy Esau. Rebecca says, oh, just do what I tell you. If there's, if, there's, if there's blowback, I'll take it. Just, I've got a plan. Trust me on this. Jacob says, okay. He goes out, he gets some goats, brings them back. Rebecca peels off the skin and plasters it on uh, Jacob's arms and neck and gives him some of his big brother's clothes and says, well, this way you'll, you'll sort of feel like him and you'll sort of smell like him and it doesn't matter if you don't look like him because you know your old dad, he don't see too good anymore. All right, so take this, this goat meat done up as, as the, the famous savory venison and go inside and get that blessing. Do it too sweet because your brother's a mighty hunter. You don't know when he's going to be back. So the kid goes in and says, Hey, Dad, I brought you the soup you wanted. Isaac goes, um, Who's that? Uh, <clears throat> it's Esau. Esau, your son, with the soup that you wanted. 
Isaac says, I, um, doesn't sound like Esau, it sounds like Jacob. Jacob says, um, it is. Smell me. Feel me. See, I'm all hairy. Almost like a goat. Didn't you always say that? Almost like a goat, my big brother's hairy skin. So he tricks poor old blind dad out of giving the blessing, and he scoots on out of the tent and around the corner, just as Esau returns with the venison. And Esau cooks up his famous savory venison dish, and he takes it in and says, Hey, Dad, I got you, I got you the deer. Isaac says, uh, oops, um, here's the thing, I've, uh, I've kind of already committed that all of the brothers are going to serve the one who already came and brought me the soup and, and got the blessing. And Esau says, oh, for heaven's sake. I, can't I get a blessing? You didn't. You didn't bless away all your blessings, did you? I. I there's. There's got to be some. Something. Say something nice. The poor old blind man says, "Um, I bless you that you won't always be the servant of your your brother who came in creepsy and." Trixie and steeled up your blessing. Esau says, I'm gonna kill him! Right out loud, apparently. Rebecca says, Jacob, um, you know how, you know how we're always saying your brother's got a, got a heck of a temper? Well, um, apparently he's not too jazzed about having his, his birthright and uh, also his blessing swindled away. So you need to, you need to go on vacation. And I'll let you know when it's safe to come back because your brother might actually kill you this time. And Jacob says, okay, let me know. Peace. And he pieces off to his in-laws. And then Rebecca goes to poor old blind Isaac and says, Oh, I had to send him away, but please, 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 God, don't let him marry a Hittite. We've got so many Hittite in-laws anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. And that's it. Oh, and of course the funny, um, in, in this, this whole sort of two-tent-door farce is, uh, is when Jacob comes in in his, his Esau suit and brings him the, the venison, and Isaac says, How did you do that so fast? That, I would have expected... Were they asleep? How did you track down and, and cook up venison that quickly? And Jacob says, God gave me sheep. It, oh, you know what? Isn't there all these, these family stories about, you know, God just giving you what you need? You know, rams so you don't get sacrificed and, and, and boats so you don't drown and and stuff. Well, you know what? Lo and behold, he came to me in the desert and gave me deer, and I hustled on back here and and walked him up for you. And Isaac says, "That tracks." Gimme, give gimme give the soup. Ah. Oh. I remember this story from back in my Sunday school days, and 
it never occurred to me at the time, probably a good thing, you know, that this wasn't, like, prepared and processed fur. She essentially just ripped the skin off of the bloody carcass of the goat and, and just slapped it all over poor Jacob. He walks in there, he's got, you know, goat awful glue keeping raw goat skin on. Yeah, Dad, it's me. I always smell like this. I'm always covered in, in blood and guts and, and loose, floppy chunks of hair from animals. It's, that's why you can recognize me by the smell of my goodly raiments, right? I'm a hunter. You know how that is. We don't know how to wash. Besides, it's a desert. The rare occasions we have wells, we get into fights with the neighbors over them that drag on for years. Oh my goodness gracious, this family. What will we do with this family? All right. Well, uh, we're running a little long on this one, so we will wrap this up. We'll be back soon with Genesis chapter 28, and we'll continue the exploits of this, this strange little family. I hope you're having as good a time as I am. Uh, as always, the rest of the playlist is linked over here if you've missed any along the way. And uh, don't forget to poke the Pope. And subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Y'all take care.